Hi, my name is Daniela. I teach, I write, I advise on design. Design is my passion. Design is everywhere. Design improves our lives, defines our taste, and determines our surroundings. It can even broadcast who we are and who we aspire to be. Here are my latest thoughts on design. When you walk here in Long Island City, Queens, you would never know that behind these tall concrete walls sat a peaceful, almost mystical garden with round stones, with sculpture and beautiful flowing trees, a perfect retreat for summer days. This garden is a part of the Isama Noguchi Garden Museum, a hidden treasure in Queens, New York. While the name of the Japanese-American artist and designer is known worldwide for his sculpture, organic furniture, and paper and bamboo lighting, few are aware of this gem. It was founded by the artist himself and opened to the public in 1988, just three years before he died. The Noguchi Museum celebrates the artist's soul evoking the bridge he had constructed between East and West. He worked with such avant-garde artists as Martha Graham, John Cage, and Merce Cunningham. This place is devoted to preservation, documentation, and interpretation of the art of the man whose name is cemented in American history. Isamu Noguchi was not only a pioneer working in this industrial district of Queens, but he was also the first living artist to establish his own museum in America. He founded it in an old warehouse just across the street from his studio. Noguchi's career spanned nearly six decades, continents, and quite a few modern movements, during which he created sculptures, he created public works, stage sets, furniture, and lightings. He became known all over the world as a household brain name in the 40s, with products manufactured by Herman Miller and Noel, the two major producers of modern design in the post-war years. Noguchi is perhaps most famous for his coffee table, an organic, modern classic manufactured by Herman Miller. This table found its way into domestic and commercial interiors worldwide and remains a bestseller to this day. It is hard to believe that the man behind this amazing museum and garden, a revolutionary who collaborated with some of the foremost personalities in 20th century art, also became synonymous with quintessential American domestic furniture.